Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, Stacy just got back from the grocery store and there was a story that you heard from an employee that worked there. And I wanted to tell the story and we're gonna get into some of the stats around this topic. But why don't you go ahead and tell your story. Yeah, not only that you guys, inflation, they're saying that it's only what? So much percent, you guys, it's almost 260%. I quit keeping up with it. It's such a lie. It's like, what they say doesn't make any sense. It doesn't, it doesn't. No. So it's not what they say. No, it's not. So I was at the grocery store today, and I'm always talking to people, as you guys know. I talk to you guys on the phone. And I know a lot of the people at this particular grocery store. And I was checking out. The lady checking me out. We were talking about how the sizes are going down yeah. in the packages. Shrinkflation. Yep. And then I looked at the guy that was bagging my groceries, and I said, hey, where's this particular guy? I haven't seen him in a while. And he said, well, I don't think he's coming back. And I'm like, that's strange. This guy absolutely loves working here. You walk in. He's going to tell you all the sales that are going on, everything that's happening in the store. I'm like, that just doesn't make sense. So check out, grab my cart, going to go, going to head out to the store. And he says, do you need help? I said, oh, that's okay, I got it. And he leaned into me and he literally said, please let me take your, your cart out. He goes, because that's my job security. And I was like, what? And I looked at him and I said, come on, let's go. We got out in the parking lot. And I said, okay, what's going on? He said, if I do not take your your items to your car then I'm going to lose my job and he said we're I looked and I said I noticed it it was only like two or three people bagging the groceries mm -hmm. and he said if you notice right now they used not to have carts places where they put the carts and he said I need this he said so every time you come in if you would please make sure that I take your groceries to the to, to your car I'm like man he, and he looked at me and he said I need this job <coughs> he goes I need food and I was thinking about that, all this self-checkout. I noticed mm -hmm. Brookshire has started putting more self-checkouts. Well, I've noticed that happening at Brookshire's for a while. It has. They have not been taking my groceries out. They do because no. you're a woman. They don't ever take mine out. And there's usually no one there to even That's think correct. about it. So I'd say they had, when we moved here, they had zero. five or six people taking groceries they out. Did. Oh, I'm sorry, I saw you yeah. say self-checkout. And now it's dwindled down to like four, and now there's only three. Yep. So businesses are cutting. They're, they're cutting expenses. They're, they're trimming the fat. You know? They are. And How? This is. I talk about this all the time. You know, if you have you have a job and you're maybe you're just not completely happy or you're tired of doing the same thing every day. Be the best, mm -hmm. the one there, because the part that person is going to get to keep their job the longest. I've been laid off a lot in my industry. That's just the way it was. So do your very best every day and. You know, you'll be the last one there. Usually, sometimes it doesn't work out like that. Sometimes they've got a brother-in-law or cousin or whatever that's going to stay longer than you. But that's just some, you know, you're only worth the value you bring. So try to bring as much value as you can as people lose their job. I agree. And I want to talk about this just real quick about the inflation. You guys, if you just saw Jerome Powell, what he just came out, and they make all these statements about the CPI and inflation and all this kind of stuff. This is a really interesting article I came across with some facts. If you guys go back to that movie, Home Alone, and if you go back to 1990, that that basket of groceries that he bought, remember that little kid went to the grocery store, if you guys all remember the movie, he paid a total of $19.83. That was in 1990. If you were to go now, it's $72.28. That has gone up 264%. They said so much for the 3.1 CPI. So, you guys, the numbers just don't add up it's when you wild. go to the grocery store. I go to the grocery store. I know what prices are because I'm the one that checks out yeah. and pay the bills. And I'm like, man, Chris, things have increased on this. Every I'm time I go, the package is shrunk. I wonder how people are making it. They're doing with less is what's yeah. going on. People aren't, you know, if when things go up from here, uh, people are just going to have that much less. Yep. It's not like they can, you know, there's a lot of people living on credit cards. Oh, There's a lot man. of people, um, and guys, at the end of the video, uh, Stacy has a meeting. Yeah, I got to find out. At the end out. of the video, I'm gonna show you another Facebook Marketplace find, and let me know what you think about it. Before I head out, because I've gotta go to some mandatory training, but talking about all this kind of stuff that's going on in the market, then I'm gonna leave you and yeah, you yeah. can just go away with it. Warren Buffett, you guys, is selling off almost 30 million, no, 30 billion in his stocks in the first three quarters of 2023. They mm. said it's a move that some economists are interpreting as a ringing alarm bells for the American economy. 
You guys, this is someone that you, everybody's watched for years. They see what he does. You and I watch to see what he's bought, what he's invested in, and that kind of things. So to me, if he's selling off stocks like that, then that is a big alarm trigger. I made a video uh, one of the last times he did this, and it he was did? several people. It was Elon Musk. It was yep. Warren Buffett. It was, and I don't know that I haven't looked, but just keep an eye on them because more than likely he is early. Mm -hmm. These guys have to get out super, super early. They can't sell big chunks like that right when it's, you know, at the very tip top. They ease out, and that's we're going to see more of this. That's, I think that's what he did. He said he sold like 10.4 billion in the first quarter, 13 billion in the next. Five billion and then five point three. He's gradually he's scaling he's out. Scaling out. Yeah. He's scaling out. Um, um, Walmart. To speak of Walmart, uh, there was a fine behind Walmart the other day on Facebook Marketplace. Free barrels. Free nice. metal barrels. I was uh, thought it was odd that Walmart would be letting barrels go, but somebody was roofing the place and they were there for free. Although I was late. That's all I had to add to Walmart. Sorry. Well, Walmart also, at Brookshire's is adding self-checkouts, but Walmart's actually taking them away because of theft. Theft is getting so bad, and they're losing so much in profits that there's actually several states that they're actually taking away the self-checkouts. I talked to the manager at Walmart, or one of them, and they said theft was unbelievable. Yep. Said it was just, um, they said you wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe how bad it is. So, you know, as society decays and prices go up, it's really, uh, it's really looking just like we thought it would, but it is so much slower than I thought. Is it slower than you thought? It is. It is, but I'm really curious to see what 2024 brings. I have a feeling in my gut that 2024 is going to be interesting. However, I will tell you, this is a goal of mine. I'm trying to not use any self-checkouts unless I absolutely have to, and I'm in emergency. That's a good thought. I am really trying to support the people that are the jobs. Mm -hmm. Like jo Joshua, he's going to carry my groceries out. Miss Dolores, you're going to check me out. I'm going to give you that job. And when I, when I heard that today from Joshua, I was like, man, you're right. You've probably got kids to feed. You've got, you know, he said, I need this job. And it really just kind of registered with me. So, and I, oh, he even talked about like when people call in to buy groceries. So I'm going to really make a conscious effort to support not just the AI and the stuff like that, but anyway, things like that. And your local hardware store. And yes. You know, the, the local businesses, yep. local companies that hire local people, and, and even the, the manufacturers that are local, please support them. You did. You just bought some boots. Made I just in bought USA. some boots. Jesse, the Shielded Press Prepper, gave me this hat. I got some sap on it today, um, taking some wood apart. But, yeah, I'm, I'm leaning more towards that. Yep. And, guys, I'm not a big proponent of Carhartt. I'm this, still, this my grandmother old. bought me this jacket, and I'm just going to leave it alone. But they kind of showed their true colors. Uh, but I am going to do more local, more, you know, buying in America. And I hope you do, too. It makes sense. It only makes sense. It does. So I'm going to show and talk about this. All you right. got a second? I'm going to bug out and go to my, I got some mandatory training, okay. you guys, so that I can keep selling you guys Well, she really medals. likes this stuff. It is. It's cool. It really is cool. All right. All right this, I'm going to bug out. This is go one of those it. finds, and for you guys that are here for the news, I get it. But some of us are trying to do something on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, I challenged everybody the other day to buy something they're familiar with and sell it. It could be five bucks, whatever. Just make the contact and, and talk and see what people are getting rid of. There's people getting rid of stuff. Sometimes it's very interesting. This is a 27 by 27 inch piece of plastic, but it's not regular plastic. It's plastic that they molded bumpers out of, so it's very rigid. It's got fiber in it. Now, it's like, Chris, what are you gonna use a piece of plastic for? Well, I don't really think like that. <clears throat> I think, what couldn't I use it for? You could put this on the walls. You could put it, uh, it's endless. You could build shelves out of it. You could find out what it's going for on eBay and sell it that way. Because I paid one dollar. One dollar for that. If you've ever bought, you know, uh, when you're building things like, man, I need something for the floor. I need something over this. And you find something light that'll last forever, the fiber plastic stuff, it's got to be worth more than a dollar. So 
I'll let you know. Let me know what you think. I bought 100 of them. <laughs> and I'm going to see what they'll do on eBay. Or maybe just keep them and build something cool. So let me know if you've been able to secure a purchase in something you're familiar with and turn a profit on eBay or wherever else, remarket on uh, uh, Facebook Marketplace or wherever you want to sell things. Let me know if it's worked out for you yet because I'm curious. I want to I hear what you guys have learned as you reach out to these people. Are they give, getting out of a certain business? Are they just moving stuff because they're tired of it? Or do they really need the money? There's a lot of people hurting right now and they're trying to offload their stuff. Give them a hand. Have an awesome, awesome day. Later.